checking out some James Arthur. This is Walls from his live online show that he did at the Royal Albert Hall. Acoustic, stripped back version. Let's get it. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the video. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another reaction. Yes, we out here tonight with some more James Arthur. Now, those of you may have seen on my channel, that um, I think two or three nights ago, I did a live stream to this whole live performance that James Arthur did at the Royal Albert Hall. It's like 50 minutes long. He goes through a lot of the tracks from his new album but also some old classics. But he does them in kind of an acoustic stripped back version because he was saying how he wanted his fans to hear the songs in a different light before he goes on his big world tour, I think, um, or is it a UK or world tour. And uh, fans hear it with all the bells and whistles. He wanted to, hear, to do a more stripped back intimate gig. Um, and it sounded amazing at the Royal Out Hall. But anyway, that night when I did that reaction, I was very tired. I was just looking to listen. I was just in my feels. Didn't really do much reacting. Didn't really pick up on much stuff that was going on. Was just enjoying the music and just chilling and listening to it. So I thought I want to do a reaction to a specific song, Walls. And uh, this song really, really spoke to me. It was an amazing song. Um, not only did it sound great, it had a great feel about it, but lyrically it was just incredible. And I just really want to listen again, do a separate reaction to it, and pick up on some of those amazing lyrics within that song. So, I'm excited. Enough talk. Let's get into it. Load this one up. Uh, where are we? There it is. So, he talks a little bit at the beginning about, uh, like, well, not not the influence around the song, but just his kind of take on the song for this performance being a more stripped back one. And then we're going to get into the performance. The song I'm probably most excited about playing is probably Wolves, because Wolves on the album is like the polar opposite to this version that we're going to be bringing you guys for the, uh, uh, for this for this concert. Um, it's like we've stripped it right back. It's 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 gone from being this trap rock thing with all the bells and whistles to being a piano vocal with lovely guitar swells and it's very atmospheric and honest and uh, it's the performance that actually moves me the most that, we do, that we're doing tonight so I can't wait to share it with you. Beautiful chords. So I want to give a shout out to the guy that's playing the piano for James Arthur as well. I can't remember his name but he's an incredible musician and he seems to play multiple instruments for James Arthur. I watched the performance and he's on the Nord. Next minute I watched another performance and he's on the Cajon and then he's behind the kit. So fair play to him, very talented musician. Uh, uh, for, this, for this concert, um, it's like we've stripped it right back. It's, it's You've been running all around in circles trying to find a purpose that you already had. You've been acting out a childhood trauma, it was learning behavior from your mom and dad. Ah. Already, just the first few lyrics. I don't want to keep on pausing it, but I am doing this reaction to break down a bit more about the lyrical content because when I listened to it before, like I say, I was just in my feels and just enjoyed the sound, but those lyrics there, you know, you've been running around in circles trying to find a purpose that you already had. You know what I mean? It's so, so true. You know, people are, are constantly, like, getting flustered or, like, going around thinking, oh, what am I doing with my life? You've already got a purpose. you just got to find it and unlock it. And then, um, you know, replaying childhood traumas, learning behavior from your mum and your dad. You know what I mean? Stuff from your, from your upbringing coming back into your life. And all these things, I think he goes on to say in more of the song about these things, like, weighing you down and getting on top of you. And, um... Yeah, it's just a great way to start the song and set set the message that he's trying to get across. Only you could open your eyes, open your eyes. 
You've been craving all the validation from the people that you swore you'd never become. Ah. All of the leeches, the preachers, the demons are giving you zannies and drinking your blood. Yes. If only Woo. you could open your. Again, I'm sorry to keep pausing it, but just that that line there is so true to so many of us out here. You know, or so many of us anywhere. You know, seeking validation from the very people that you swore you'd never become. You know, why do we do it? Why do we seek validation from people that, firstly, we don't even know? You know what I mean? You know, why does their opinion matter so much? And that's just an amazing message to get across in this song. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be pausing every five minutes, every five seconds at this rate, but just the message in this is so strong, you know? Um, yeah, that's that's amazing for me. I think it's great. Ask yourself why. Ask yourself why. why. Are you so afraid of my love, like you don't deserve it. You know you do. He's bringing it back to kind of a more love thing now to himself. I've been there too. Too busy howling at the moon. Yes. To see the walls as they surround you. Yeah. Wish I could give your head a shake and bring you home with me tonight. They tell you everything is cool, but they don't give a damn about you. Yes. So when you wake up and they're gone, you're not alone. Cause you know darkness comes before the light. No, no, no more killing time. Ah. Uh. The lyrics within that chorus as well. You know, first he starts off with too busy howling at the moon to see the world as it's around you. Now, that's basically he's trying to, for me, you know, and like I say, I swear of all these songs, it's, you interpret it differently for each person. But for me, that kind of getting across that message of too busy shouting and screaming and getting frustrated and angry instead of just embracing the world that's around you and the opportunities that you have uh, to unlock the potential, as he said at the beginning, which is already inside you. And I think it's just a great message that as well. Um, and he goes on to say, you know, they, they, um, uh, they, they don't give a damn about you, you know? Um, what's, what's that line again? Let's just go back there. Sorry. I'm trying to catch this. But they don't give Yeah. Wish I could give your head a shake and bring you home with me tonight. They tell you everything is cool. Yes. But they don't okay. give a damn about you. So true. So when you wake up and they're gone, you're not alone. Cause you know darkness comes before the light. No, no, no more killing Facts. time. Maybe you should spend less time with Mary Jane. Jealousy and Hennessy and Novocaine. One too many hangers on the gravy train. I feel like you're forgetting everything. Everything about you, everything about me, everything about love. There's no love without trust. Look what it's doing to us. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to change you. But I want to stand back and watch as they break you. Wish you could see it like I see it, but you're. Yes. Too busy howling at the moon. Woo! To see the walls as they surround you. Yeah. Wish I could give your head a shake and bring you home with me tonight. Let's tell you everything is cool. Mm. But they don't give a damn about you. I think that line there, along with what you said before about, you know, maybe you shouldn't spend so much time with Mary Jane. Maybe he's trying to say about the people that you surround yourself with, you know, bringing it like bringing you down like there's a great saying that uh of um i think it's like don't swim with sinking fish or sinking men or something like that um because you know if these people are going down then why why hang around with them you want to hang around with people that are going to lift you up and encourage you to like fulfill your potential and all these sort of things and keep pushing on and elevating in life but so you know and he's saying like there like they tell you everything is cool 
but they don't give a damn about you. So they're just trying to say everything's cool because if you're in the same rut as them, they don't, you know, they don't care. They're just like going along with their life and they, people that, people that aren't, well, it's just my opinion, but sometimes people that aren't succeeding and pushing forward in their life don't want to see other people do the same, you know? Um, and when you do see people, when they do see people around them that are kind of elevating themselves and they, you know, they don't really offer the support because there's an air of jealousy there sometimes, you know? Facts. So when you wake up and let go, you're not alone. Cause you know, darkness comes before the light. No, no, no more killing time. Listen to this chorus. Too busy howling at the moon mm. To see the wolves as they surround you Wish I could give your head a shake And bring you home with me tonight Yes! They tell you everything is cool Ooh. But they don't care a about you ah. So when you wake up and they're gone You're not comes before the light no 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 more killing time yes this album has been in the works for a wow wow now Guys, let me know what you thought of that performance. I feel like I was hiding behind the screen there a little bit during that, but hopefully you could see me. Um, but you might not agree with my my take on some of those things throughout that song or some of the lyrics themselves, but for me, that's just how I interpreted it. But I think with all this music, it's interpreted differently for different people in different situations in their life. Of course, he was kind of bringing it back to what sounded like a relationship of his, whether that's his girlfriend or, I don't know, something like that or a previous partner. But he kind of brought it back to that. But of course, it's going to mean something different to him as it's going to mean to everybody else who listens to that song. But there's so many things in there that we can all take away from it. You know, claiming validation from the very people that you swore you'd never become. You know, um, uh, the, uh, the potential that's inside. I can't remember what, what, what lyrics you used at the beginning there, but basically ser searching for, uh, you know, a purpose that you already have inside you. You just got to unlock it and get it out. So, so many different things. And, you know, surround yourself with the right people to elevate yourself. You know, too busy howling at the moon complaining about what's going on in your life instead of figuring out what you can do about it to elevate and to push past it and for me that's what i got got from those lyrics you know um you know and uh yeah it's just a great song great song great feeling and a great message let me know what you thought let me know if you agree with my comments on it let me know if you think i'm for the crap and luke what are you talking about you're just babbling on i didn't really understand what you were getting at <laughs> Either way, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know where you're watching from. If you got to the end of this video, I really appreciate you. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I really do appreciate all the support. Um, yeah, the channel's growing day by day, week by week, and it's because of you guys. So, thank you so much. Take care, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Cheers. So good,